Hi, today I'm going to do a video using the new Affinity Designer 2.0 version. Just came out a couple weeks ago and we're going to do a video for Mac using the Epson F170 printer. <clears throat> All right, first we're going to go to File and we're going to go to New to pick a uh, artboard is what we call it so we're going to go to letter i think you can only do letter or legal with um, the f170 so let's start with letter and we're going to start with our layout uh eight and a half by eleven as you see document in inches and prefer embedded Next is color. This is the color you're going to bring in, you're going to be working with, not what you're going to be printing with. So these are the colors that you're going to bring in. And the color format is always going to be RGB forward slash 8. And the color profile will be sRGB IEC 61966-2.1. Now, you have the option of a transparent background or a white. I work in transparent just so in case I'm looking for any kind of spots or something. So if you want to do in, in white, that's fine. I'm going to do it in transparent. Next, we have margin. This blue line is the margin they have preset. I don't use a margin, so I unclick that. For bleed, don't do anything, should be at zero. And scale, you do nothing. And now you're going to create. And here is our blank screen or board. So now we're going to bring in a graphic. So you're going to go to File. You're not going to go to Open. You're going to go to Place. So that's the difference. We're going to go to place. Um, open is for a, an affinity file that you have already created in affinity and saved it. So then you're going to go to open. So right now we're going to go to place. And I'm going to go to my, I have this all on an external drive. So let's go pick a graphic. Do something with winter. Do I have it alphabetically? And this is the one I want. So I click on it, hit open. Now you will see you have an arrow with a circle. You're going to press your left mouse button down as you're moving. So here you go. You can make it any size. And as you see, as I'm moving it up and down, you see the width and the height in the corner. And you will also see it here. Now, for instance, if you're doing a 20-inch uh, tumbler, a straight 20-inch tumbler, you're going to work it on letter size paper, but let's say it has to be let's guess I think they're 9.5 so you just type it in over here 9.50 oh, I'm just guessing and then the height let's do 875 8.75 again I'm not sure and there you see it. That probably is a little weird. So probably the height should be 8.75. And let's do this at 9.
don't think that's going to work. Anyway, I'm not sure what it is for a tumbler, but that's how you arrange it. So remember, your design is going to be whatever the size of you, your graphic needs to be for a tumbler. So I'm just guessing. So it might be 9 by 8. But that's how you size it. You do it on a 8.5 by 11 letter size paper. And then here is where you're going to set up the graphic size for your tumbler. All right, next people say, oh, I, I need to add a name. I don't know how to do that yet. Make this a little smaller so you can see. So we're going to go here. This is your text box. So you have artistic and frame tool. We're going to do artistic. And we're going to go over here on your canvas, on your whiteboard, and start typing. Uh, type my name. Now it's hard to see, but you're going to make it bigger. This is how we move it around. So I wanted to show you what it does and how to use fonts. So here's your font. You're going to highlight it by double clicking. And here are your fonts up here that everything in your computer. Let me move this over for a moment so you can see this. I'll put it over here. Go back to the font. So you can see it changing. Uh, let's, pick, let's pick this one. Okay. Now, we've got this, and we want to change the color. Everybody wants to change the color. So double-click again, highlight it, and we're going to go to over here. We have color, swatches, stroke, and appearance. I like to go by color and you see if you move this you get any color you want. Now let's say you want to match a color. Then you will go over here to your color picker. So you're going to click that. You're going to see this little arrow. So let's say you want it let's put Okay, this is a nice color. You're going to aim right there and click it. Now, let's say you want an outline. You're going to go back here. You're going to click that again. And we're going to go to these Quick Fix. There's brushes. There's layers. And this is Quick Fix. And I'm going to do a, a bevel. And so you can see what that looks like and if I move it let me gotta keep it highlighted now you'll see how that changes the more I move it it gives it a bevel look and you can adjust the opacity higher lower make it bigger or you can do 3D and that adjusts that and now we can add an outline and depending on the color you want you'll see this get bigger and bigger and bigger so you can take out the bevel you can really play with a lot of these. You can take out the 3D, or put the 3D back, adjust the outline, changing the color of the outline. I want to make it like a turquoise. See? Let's stay with black. I would go to the um, not the sliders, but the swatches and there are the swatches then I can pick the colors of course I don't see black there's black okay 
That looks good. Again, you can play with it. There's various ones you can play with. Shadow, glow, overlay, gradient, outer glow and outer shadow. A lot of things you can play with. There's also an offset tool. So that's one of the things. And again, the adjustment. Make it whatever size you want. Okay. So next, um, if you want to add another graphic, you just go to File and Place and pick another graphic. Something small. I just pick anything. Let's see. I'll pick a doggy. Again, you're going to get the arrow. You're going to And you can also right click, go to arrange, move back one. We want to put it behind. Back again. Arrange. Move to back. And now he can slip back there. So anything you want to do is the arrange, move to front, alignment. You can align it left in the center. And he went in the center somewhere. There he is. <laughs> I'm just showing you what it does. Add, divide, subtract when you have like a, a sh two shapes you want to get together. Here's rotate, flip. Also there is, let me get down, swatches, layer effects. And then you can do it here too. You move this. You see, you can bevel him, outline him, inner shadow, 3D. That's kind of cute. Uh, color overlay now, outer shadow. Don't need it. And the outline. That looks kind of neat. Oops. Not going. All right, so you can kind of play with that too. Just showing you what you can do. So that looks kind of cool. All right, now the big thing is to print it. So you're going to go to File. We're going to go to Print. And the fun begins. <laughs> Your paper size. This is going to be your paper size. If you use a, a different type, I guess with the F-170, it can only be legal or letter. And we are using letter. Range and scale. Entire document. Fit to printable. And I have it on automatic. Next is document layout. Again, we're at letter. Single. Nothing you really do. Bleed and marks, you won't be doing anything. Layout, oh, you're not going to be doing anything here either. I'm just going through every single one. Here's the color matching. Now, if you don't have color matching under these drop downs, and you have, I think it's called media. If you don't have the color matching, you don't have the drivers installed. So you'll have to go back to the Epson site and download the whole, all the drivers, delete your printer, and do the setup from the, um, the files you just downloaded from Epson. And it'll have a setup file. Don't just download the driver. There's a, a whole thing there, drivers and utilities, I think it's called. All right, if you do have them, we're going to go to color matching. It may end up on Epson. Do not go there. Go to color sync, and you will get a profile. These are your profiles that come with the printer. You have textile, and you have the rigid. We don't use the rigid for anything. We found, I found the colors are just too dark. So I do everything, including tumblers, with 
textile. This is the Epson profile that you're looking for, textile. Next, paper handling. Nothing you do here. Cover page, no. Print settings. You're going to do your media is also going to be textile. You'll have two, the rigid or the textile. Only use the textile. It must match your color matching. So you have textile here in color matching, and you have it in print settings. Next is your quality. I always do fine. You can do normal. Fine will put down a little bit more ink, but it doesn't matter as long as it goes on your subject. It's fine. I've always had the greatest colors. I've never had a problem using Epson paper. And I also use text print, the DX Lite. That's a great one. Um, I may have ink on the paper after I press, but who cares? As long as your substrate looks great, shouldn't matter. Mirror image is always checked because it's always going to mirror your image. There's nothing else we're going to do here. You're going to hit print. I'm not. I don't want to print this. <laughs> but it should come out great. Um, and if you have any questions, you can get me on, uh, on my group. Or find me on Facebook, Helen Coleman, and I'll answer your questions. And thanks for watching.